focus. I'm in focus. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. I've just been busy when I tell you mom life. It's not a joke. But today we're going to have a talk through. Yep, you do. But girls, maybe guys. Hello. What do we have here? A mess. Ooh, for me, you're trying to be fancy. You're trying to be fancy. Ah, oh, well, you know. And we are going to open it live for you. Yes, we're going to turn it over. And voila. Amos. <laughs> we open it again. And there you have the lipstick. Let me take that out for you guys. Vroom. The packaging is absolutely beautiful. And as you take the lipstick out, here you have the Hermes lipstick. And on top of the lipstick, you have a beautiful logo and it has each right there on it. Is this not gorgeous? So they came out with matte lipsticks. They came out with satin lipsticks. I wanted a matte, but they were sold out. So I got the pink flamingo and it has a, it has a claspy, lock you know for the lipstick cover so it snaps i think it's magnetic as a matter of fact and as you can see the black bar when it is shiny that means that it's a satin if this black bar is matte then it's a matte lipstick so it's got the gold the black the white they had a limited edition which was so beautiful i tried to get my hands on it i did it but anyway this is the lipstick and we're going to turn it open voila there is the Hermes lipstick. Hermes Beauty, welcome to the beauty community. <laughs> so we are going to start from scratch. Yes, darlings, we're gonna start from scratch because I haven't done a video like this in a long time. I want to talk to you guys. I want to chat with you. I want to tell you what is happening in my life. So we're gonna start with Ofra. Ofra sent me a couple of products which I love. And these are primers. And uh, we have the Cool Cucumber. And then we have the other one, which it says it is, let me look, let me look. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Facelifting. <laughs> I'll go with facelifting. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> Thank you, Ofra. <laughs> so we open it like so. Baju boom. Yep, we do. And then we pump. It's a new one, so. Give it a minute. There we go. Da da da. Yes. Yep. Do. Mm. Oh, it smells delish. Fresh. It feels sticky. Like oh, this is gonna be so good for your foundation. I am living for it. I am living for this. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, this can stay right here on my desk. Okay. Alrighty, let's take a stippling brush. I'm going to take Juvia's stippling brush. Yep. And we're going to go with the Huda Beauty Foundation in Fudge. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And darlings, I am living for the primer. I am living for this primer. Guys, off the bat, get this, I'll put the link below. This is one of the best primers I have used. Honestly, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I live for this. This is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna take my Estee Lauder Double Wear. Mm, I love this. And this is in sandalwood. It's the best ever. And I use this just to go underneath my eyes, brighten up my eyes. I have been exercising. I have been taking the exercise very, very seriously. And I'm just waiting till I lose a substantial amount of weight before I will do um, an episode for you guys. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
My bracelet is rattling. Can you hear it? So I'm going to take it off. <laughs> Sometimes you're trying to be cute, but it just does not work. And you guys will be like, but I can hear the rattling. It's annoying. So I'm taking it off. This primer that I've worn has changed the game. I don't know how else to tell you, but instant, instant gratification up in here. I just put a little bit here just to indent and pop out the cheekbone. I mean, that's the only reason why we do it, you know? So yes, as I was saying, I have been exercising. I've been eating right, and I have been documenting the baby all over IG stories. You guys are living for it, for those of you that follow me. Now, I'm just going to dab a little bit of Benai Topaz powder over that, and then we're going to go into brows. I hardly do brows on camera, so I'm going to do it for you today because there's another product that I am really loving and living for. So I'm just setting that because I've got oily skin and that just helps. Ula lost 50 pounds last year. When Adrian was going to be born, he said for me, you know what? No more messing about. I want to lose this weight. I want to be healthy for Padusk, you know? And I said, okay, let's see what you can do, brah. All right, we'll get back to that in a minute. I am living, living for the MPV Brown by Fenty Beauty. Very fabulous, and I have it in deep black. So we're going to do the brows while I talk with you guys. It's got an end. There you go, little brushy end there. And at the end, it has a skinny pencil. Yeah? Okay. So I just swish in front like this. So anyway, when we got the lockdown, I panicked. I promise you I panicked. And I was like, oh, for me, this is not going to be good because where you're even having your normal exercise, running around and everything, you don't even have that. So I was lamenting and Ula said, I got you, girl. I got you. You know, I got you. You know what for me? Use the calorie counter that I used. And I said, oh, calorie counter, you have heard all of this, you know, it's not going to work. He said, try. And I said, okay. And the calorie counter basically just lets you document everything that you eat. It also has like a barcode that you can scan. Uh -uh -uh -uh. See, are we not living for this? I love it. And just do it, you know, different strokes so that it kind of mimics your brow. See? So I said, okay, fine, let me try. And I am absolutely addicted. I am absolutely addicted to the calorie counter. I got my uh, Apple Watch out because I've had it forever, but I don't use it. So I was counting my exercise, my steps, and I was doing little challenges for myself, you know, that I would that I made sure I completed throughout the day. I am going to week two and I have already lost 10 pounds. Yes. So that is what I have been up to. And I put all of my weight there, yeah. And you would not believe it because a lot of you would say, no, that's not true. I went up to 200 pounds. I was 200 pounds. I'm not 200 pounds anymore. And I documented it. I put myself on the scale. I put myself on blast so that you guys could see, so that it could be really legit. I want it to be as transparent as possible for you you know to say let's do it together it's not about me 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 oh my god i'm so fabulous no i'm just trying to lose weight i just put on too much weight and i just want to lose it so i just want to come out of this lockdown feeling good about myself you know so those are the brows and then i'm just going to clean it up i have a beautiful mac uh, palette that I've used forever. This is the Pro Conceal palette and it's then dark.
There you go. And that just cleans up the brow. And we all gain weight differently. That's the thing. Even when I was pregnant, none of you knew because it didn't show in my face. You know, my weight gain never shows in my face, but my bottom half. <laughs> Voila. And then we blend it out. And I just dab with my fingers. See? Uh -uh. So we are done. And then I'm going to take yet another Jovius Place brush. And we're just going to contour light, light. And I'm going to use Rich Mahogany VC1 Double Wear Estee Lauder. So as I was saying, I don't show my weight gain in my face. Never have. But it is there and I want to look nice, you know, there comes a time when you have to say, for me, stop, for me, stop. Now, you know better, you know, and it's not healthy for me either. And I said, you know what, Fooms, share it with your family, with your cyber sisters, with your cyber brothers. If they want to join you, let them go ahead. It will be fun. So that's how I took that itty bitty video <laughs> and I put it on Instagram. Yeah, I did and let you know, I was 199 pounds, 0.2, something like that. And I said, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna put it out there and be transparent. It is what it is, you know, you go from there. So the first week I'm contouring my nose a little bit. So I'm just using the same powder and I'm going up to my brow and I'm just bringing it all the way down with a very, very soft brush. And just across you know just very very lightly nothing too crazy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we are done yeah okay now the fun part now the fun part we are going to use the Juvia's Place Saharan palette we're going to go in with face I know it's a little busted <laughs> and we're gonna go in here yes I live for it but before I do that let me just let me just cover this eye on the base right there okay and then we're going to go in with that right in the crease and with the same soft brush that I used to contour I'm just going to bring that all the way up I get a lot of compliments you have such eye space we all do the thing is that we're just used to using half of it but you can go as high as the brow and out okay so I love this color. I love this for my particular complexion. It just complements it so, so beautifully. I like to start with a light color and then just go deeper and deeper and deeper. And that just deepens the eye and it looks so, so nice. And take it all the way to the side. Yes, you can do that all the way to your brow. Yes. Voila. So we're going to go with the Rich Nude Palette by Huda Beauty. And we're going to go in with this color right here. And just go right above to the side. You can never go wrong if you go right above to the side. You know why? Because if it's too dark where it makes your eye heavy, that will be on top here. But if you go here, it gives you a cut. Ha ha ha. Yep. So you can never go wrong when you just go to the side and up right there. But we are going to go a little bit further in and we're just going to smooch that through. Okay? We're just going to smooch that right there. That's all we need. Just a little something, something. And blend. Just blend. It really is just your hand. Just going like in deeper like this. As in just... See? Voila. Now we're going to rest the brush for a minute and we're going to go in with the Mercury Retrograde Huda Palette. There's a particular color here that I just live for, Supernova. This color right here is life. So I'm just going to use my finger and I'm going to just brush it on right there. See, I'm just going to brush it on and I will do the rest once I've finished putting 
what I want. And then you can top it with glitters and stuff like this, especially when they're soft and fabulous, they work better with the finger. There's nothing wrong with that. You can just put your finger and that's it. Now I'm going to go in with another beautiful color from the rich nude. And I wanted to share it with you guys because in the pan, it doesn't look that pigmented. It doesn't even look that rich when you put it on fire. Let me show you. So take a flat brush. So I'm just going to put that in. Do you see? And don't worry, it's covering the glitter. That's fine. And I'm just going to tap all around. See, isn't this beautiful? Oh, and then I'm going to use a brush and just blend it on the outside because I want to keep that shade. Yeah. And then you can go back in with the glitter over the mat. See? There you go. And then of course, again, you can just use blend it out there and then I'm going to put in that beautiful red that I circled the eye with and I'm just going to go underneath the eye yeah we're going to go in with this chocolate brown right here and this is like a pencil brush and it's Juvia's from the mid green collection and we're just going to go tighter into the eye right there yeah I am going to take the Beauty Bakery baking spray and I'm just going to do a little, yes, just to bring back the color. Do we love this? <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. I have a discount code for Beauty Bakery. Yes, for me 10% off at checkout. Beauty Bakery, I'll put a picture up for you guys as well. So that way it brings the color back. Are we living for it? The Bragging Mascara. The Bragging Mascara from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Thank you so much, guys, for sending this to me. And we're going to take this out. Voila. Look at the packaging. Isn't it gorgeous? I live for it. All right, so we're going to put on some mascara real quick. Da, da, da. I put a little bit on top. And then I put the most at the bottom because I'm gonna put the fall season. So I use the tip and that way I can get more of the, ooh. It's very nice. This is a nice option. Yes, this is a very nice option. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we have Body B lashes and we have these in extra and that's gonna be the lash we're gonna put on today, yes. So I have the lash like so. And then what I do is that I put it up. I put it up because that opens up the eye. Yes. So let me see if I can do this on camera without messing it up. Yeah. I'm already messing it up. Yes. So just try and keep it up. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And hold. And then you just squeeze that together with your own lash. Because my own lash is very coarse so it comes up pulls off the lash and that is why i put the mascara on completely afterwards do we love darlings do we love and that's how i put on my lashes and then i take the mascara and i wiggle it together and that's how it stays see are we living are we loving Ha! I'm loving. Okay, so this is a Morphe brush. Morphe gifted me E3. Let me just turn it for you guys. There you have it. It's an E3 Morphe brush. And I'm using my one of my favorite palettes of the whole world. It's almost sold out, guys. So, mm -hmm. and I'm going to go in with Ula. <laughs> because he gives me so much life. And that, my darlings, is the red one. Let me bring it closer. And then we're just gonna touch and put it up there, my temples as well, and give it up in here. Da, 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 da. Mmm, yummy, yum. 
a little bit underneath. Just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> Woo! And just go over. There you go. See? Doesn't that give you life? See? Just a little bit. A little bit on the side too. Not too much. Not too much. And then I'm going to take a smaller brush. You know I love this. It's Morphe. And this is M131. This is one of the best fan brush to give yourself a brow highlight. It is fabulous. So I'm just going to brush onto glam from my palette because that was the glam highlight. So I'm just going to brush a little bit right here. And I'm just going to put that right onto my high tips of my brow right there. See? And I'm just going to... Oh, I love it. I live, I live. And just kind of drag it down. And just kind of drag it down. Do you see how beautiful that is? That just, that is everything. That is everything, my darlings, when I tell you. This is so gorgeous. You know. And the shape of the brush just gives you that. Da -da -da. Do -do 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 -do. That's right. Because I put a bit too much, I got too excited, and so it was a bit too much. But you can always rub off the excess. Beautiful, okay. And while we're there, we're going to take the glam again and with a pencil brush, punch in right there in the center. Mm. Oh. Mm. Do you see the difference? Do you see how it just opens up the eye? Vroom. So, do you see this eye? Do you see that eye? Both are beautiful. It just depends on how extra you are. <laughs> I'm extra. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So, that is it, my darlings. And then we are going to go into... A mess. Pink flamingo. Oh. Mm. Mm, it's nice and bright. Mm. I love the color. I will have to use a lip pencil just for the edges but even then it's not bad guys this is by mac and this is chestnut it's my go-to every single time and i'm just going to line the lips okay just a little bit oh i love it i love it I love it. I love me some matte lipsticks, but this satin is nice. It's a beautiful color. It's a wonderful spring look. And let me just finish, and I'm going to use the Mattifying Continuous Setting Spray. There you go. And we're just going to go a little bit over that. Oh, yes. This gives me life. Do we love, darlings? Do we love? So that is the episode, my sweets. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave all of your comments down below. I will be doing uh, more for you. You just let me know what you would like. And is the MS lipstick FDV approved? <laughs> it is absolutely FDV approved, darlings. I love it. It is super cute. It's a lovely shade. And it doesn't pull. It doesn't skip. It works. For 56 pounds, this could be a wonderful Mother's Day gift. It really could. I will tell you for sure that you are buying packaging. The packaging is fantastic. It's so gorgeous. It's good quality. It's very heavy. It has the emblem at the back here. It has the magnetic top that just snaps 
back it's a mess so you're also paying for the name but is the lipstick nice the lipstick is nice i like it it is pricey it is pricey when you say hermes you know they're talking about birkin and kelly bags so i would say that go out there swatch it try it out but mother's day is coming and at a time like this you know if you can afford it get it for your mama get it for your wife it's a lovely little gift that one can afford because usually i will give gift vouchers for like 50 dollars, 50 pounds so yeah i could stretch it and add six more pounds and get this for somebody all right my darlings i miss you stay strong stay home stay healthy um we're staying home we're saving lives we're staying home we're staying safe and we will never forget this this has gone down in history we live to tell the tale you take good care of yourselves and follow me on instagram for my weight loss journey and join me with fdv fitness 2020 Mwah. all of my love bye <laughs>